now a Category 1 storm, packing 90 mile per hour winds and is expected to make landfall by tomorrow night. Preparations are underway as flooding and power outages are a major concern. Highways are packed as residents along the coast are making their way to higher ground and local shelters. All right, guys, so let's say the hurricane just blew through, took out the grid, the whole town has got no power. So I want to do a test where I use just the Opus Mega 3 to hold up this little simulated apartment here. I've moved a refrigerator in here. Uh, so the four main things you want to hold up after a hurricane would be your fridge with all your food in it. You don't want to lose that. You need some lights. Got three LEDs there. You're going to want to charge your phone. That's pretty easy. And the fourth one is you're going to need one window unit to keep one room cool where you can hang out and be able to sleep. So it won't be 90 degrees. So those are the main things. I've also thrown in a fan, a laptop for entertainment, and a microwave. But those are the luxuries. We won't use those unless we can. So let's go ahead and get started. Hook this thing up and then we're going to cut the power for three days. We're not going to cheat. Now there's lots of ways to hook it up, uh, but in this case we're just going to use extension cords. So I've got this guy's got a power strip, this is the fan, and this is the window air conditioner. Uh, we go over here, we turn the output of the AC on, and then we turn this guy on. And everything should power. There we go. Check out our fridge. We've got a lot of water in here. If you see a hurricane coming, guys, put some gallon jugs in your freezer ahead of time. That'll help you out. Window unit. I think this is a 6,000 BTU, it might be an eight. And I've got it on a kilowatt meter so we can measure what it's doing. Okay, with everything running, the refrigerator, air conditioner, lights, and phone charging, we're at about 600 watts. We've got 98% of our battery left. And we don't have our solar hooked up, so let's get that going before we lose too much sun. This is the Opus 250 watt solar panel. It's very rugged, it's got a nice carrying handle. We've got two of these, let's get them hooked up. All right, so I made this temporary rack to hold these two panels. So uh, I'll show you how we're going to hook these up. So I bought this 50 foot extension cable so I can run it right into the house and not have to bring the unit in and out. I can just plug it in inside. So I'm going to run this in and then we'll hook it all so up. We're going to hook our panels in series. So we're going to go black to black and then we're going to go red to red on this side and then we're going to hook the two together from red to black. Okay? Just slide that in until it clicks. Click. Click. So the power goes through that panel, through that panel, and back. Alright? That's serious. Alright guys, I've run my cable inside. Now, see how I already labeled this, not solar. If you plug it in here, you're going to lose some functionality. That's an output, okay? The solar goes in the back, right here. And this has some power on it, so you got to be a little careful. There we go. All right, it was getting some power with this on here. Ta-da! All right, so I uncovered the panel. Now we're pulling in about 340 watts, burning 582. Uh, but we got the family in good shape. I'm going to let this roll for a while and we'll be back to check in in a little bit. Alright guys, it's been about two hours. Pulling 350 watts from our solar, burning about 590 with the air conditioner, refrigerator, and lights. Battery's down to 76%. So it's lunchtime. Let's see if our microwave's going to work and how much power it's going to draw. Alright, put that in there. Boom. And jumped up for a second there. Wow, 2300. Now we got 3600 watts to work with. So we're good. So I wouldn't use too much electricity cooking food. This is a good time to bust out the old grill and use up some of that propane. Save that precious electricity for your refrigerator and other things. There we go. It's off. Back down here. We have to run another 22. <laughs> Anyways guys, I think we're burning through our power a little too fast here, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off the air conditioner and turn on the fan. We're going to have to make that trade out here. 
to save a little power. All right, so with the AC off and uh, just the fan, refrigerator, and lights, we're only burning 86 watts while we got 350 coming in. So that'll charge our battery up a little more. Looking good on the fridge and freezer. So yeah, we'll be back in a little bit, but we'll just roll this for now. We're five hours into this. We've got 340 watts coming in on the solar. We've actually gained some ground back up to 85%. I just switched the AC back on, so we had two hours of AC, three hours of just the fan, and now I'm going to do another two hours of the AC, since we seem to be in pretty good shape. We're also running our fridge and our freezer. Everything's looking good there. We did a little microwave, not much, we got our lights going, we're charging phones, so we're doing okay. So far so it good. It's been running for 12 hours, we're down to 39%. We should be able to run for 14 hours if I keep everything off except for the refrigerator and maybe a couple of lights. So I think I messed up a little bit. I ran the AC for four hours. I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, I don't think we have enough to do that, but we should make it to the morning. We'll see how it goes and we'll make some adjustments for tomorrow. It's been running for about 24 hours and we're down to about 6% on the battery. And we're gonna have to pull the plug on our simulated hurricane power outage test. And that's because we have a real hurricane coming and it's gonna hit tonight. Category one, the eye wall should be about 30 miles north of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the solar panels down, secure everything, and I'm gonna plug this into the utility and charge it to 100%, get it all ready to go. Then we'll ride through the storm and after the storm, we're going to do another one of these grid down tests, three days. But this time we're going to upgrade our system a little bit. So let's look at what we learned here in this one day. Uh, for one day we were able to run the AC for four hours, charge the phone, run the fan. We had the refrigerator going, freezer, laptop, little microwave and some lights. So we did pretty good. But if we were going to go more than one day, we're definitely going to need more solar input. So we only had the 350 watts, but this unit will go up to 2,100 watts. That's a lot. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to put as much solar on here as I can. Try and max out that solar input. And we can do that by adding rows from this main array that I have. Then we're going to throw a whole bunch of stuff at it since we got all that extra power coming in like electric bikes and freezers and rice makers, all kinds of stuff. But mainly I want to see how long we can run the window AC because that's one of the main things. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one.